All right, I've been doing some practice welds um, in order to make sure that I can get the best weld possible on the Speedtech suspension modification. Um, these are some uh, welds on the same frame at the same angle. Um, and I think I got the correct temperature on the uh, welder. I'm sorry, not temperature, but voltage and wire speed so I went ahead and tack welded the uh, uh, speed tech mount um, tack welded here and here and I was just looking at my tack welds and it looks like it penetrated a little over halfway through the metal there I don't know about the frame, but uh, this is a crucial weld because it's suspension. And, uh, you know, if this breaks at 120 miles an hour, that's bad news. But anyway, I got everything test fit. We can see that I'm not making any contact with the coil over here. Not making any contact here. And, uh... I don't have any binding there's no binding we've got some wiggle room so that's what speed tech says to do and uh, man that's a good looking lower control arm this is really really beefy it's a badass control arm anyway I'm gonna go ahead and weld that in there and see how it looks Okay, here's the uh, completed weld. Uh, I made two passes on this one um, just to make sure I had good penetration into the frame. Then we can see up in there, I was able to get a weld. And up in there. And if this will focus back behind doesn't look like it's going to focus back behind there and it's not going to focus but I got back behind there there we go so hopefully that's going to hold um, this is the first time I've welded anything and uh didn't look like it blew through the back or anything. It just heated it up. You can see my weld marks, but it didn't actually blow through. So, hope that holds. 